Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting tutorial of creativeprocess.net and today we'll be working on this amazing logo designing. The logo has got two tones that's a grayscale color. It has got two layers, the lower and the top. So let's take a closer look of this logo. So if we look at this logo, it has got some interesting design. So it has got a top over the horse uh, like figure then on the bottom we have got some fire effect like fire style then here we got this interesting design this the entangled leg so we'll be concentrating on all these aspects uh, on the creation of this logo so to design this logo we'll first use the uh, ellipse tool because if you look at this logo it is enclosed in a circular shape so we have to maintain that shape and after that with the help of ellipse tool we'll create out this basic structure of s then with the help of pen tool we'll create out this uh, horse head the legs and this fire effects manually then we'll concentrate on creating all these uh, spiky effects using the direct selection tool and the anchor point tool so we'll do all that stuff so let's begin the tutorial so first of all i'll select the ellipse tool and create out a circle of certain diameter like this then let's fill this up with some plain color stroke color and remove the fill color for a while and after that i'll just uh, place it here only then after that i'll create one more circle here and let's twig it up so uh, with the help of pen tool the anchor point tool i'll just break a point here and i'll just extend this so dice action tool Select this handle, extend this to maintain this flow. Now I'll bring out ruler, control R and place it to this along the handle. Then I'll select this one and I'll just extend this till this much. So giving the symmetry here, I'll just delete this out. Now I'll just uh, do this, I'll just duplicate this. So select that and Using the reflect tool, double click on that and keep it horizontal, preview it, you can see, preview and copy that. And now just drag it down with the shift pressed and just place it here along that. Now I'll just I'll go there and uh, increase the stroke thickness around that much and control G, group it up and with the alt press I'll just make sure just squeeze this design like this so let's do that like that and after that well, let's a little bit more squeezing this much and just bring it around here and place it to the center here now I'll just increase this along this uh, circle maintaining that now let's increase the uh, stroke thickness let's give it around 42 let's check it out okay that's huge let's give it around 40 40 and let it be like let's see okay okay that's great now what I'll do is I'll just select that go to object path and outline stroke now just uh, with a alternate shift press just scale it down like this enclosed in the circle now what I'll do is that's uh you can see uh, to create that as effect we need to uh, have an empty space here so we need to cut it from here and here so I'll just use the line segment tool and draw out a line from here like that giving that here let's give some stroke color so that we can see that and from here also just draw out one more like that and place it there let's do some tweaking here we'll zoom it in now select this one and let's extend this little bit you can see there is a gap here so we need to click this point and attach it here in the same way go down and here also we'll do the same stuff so with a die selection tool selected zoom it in you can see there's a gap select that point and attach it till here so we have uh, given that uh, remove that empty space from there and now if you select this this and this we can easily use the shape builder to break that pieces so i'll just use the gray scale dark gray select this this one and you got that and rest rest uh, you can delete this out select this now uh, control z ungroup it first and select this pieces delete uh delete 
delete delete and nice one delete so we got this s effect now let's uh, select everything for a while and rotate this to 30 degree angle and to do that go to transform and take the type out here 3030 and it will be rotated like that now let's work on uh, creating this head legs and all these stuff so we will be using the pen tool to create that so for, first of all let's uh, keep it like this and let's select the pen tool and draw this head figure so I'll use uh, this here so for a while I'll just lock this up control 2 to lock the object and with the pen tool let's draw this head so we need to maintain that flow you can see here so I'll just draw the uh, horse head from here And just extend this one like this and you got that nice effect here uh, let's concentrate on these uh, leg side so let's create the leg shape first so I'll use here and just draw the leg this is all so now let's place it in the proper place so I'll just bring it here and if you check it out that's good I can just push it up a little bit it's the placement you need to do and here giving that place okay that's that now what i'll do is i'll just duplicate this with the all press just click and drag it out and just uh, rotate this to certain angle like giving that angle here and now let's push it up this one i'll just bring it around here this one let's place it according to this here like that and uh, let's do some tweaking here we need to do that so i'll just do the placement so I'll select this that's good so now we got that leg shape the head and all we need is to combine it properly and uh, so let's do that so <clears throat> let's create this stuff so i'll use just draw a few more stuff here so continuing this continue this shape here so selecting that from here continue and just make it attach it from here like that just let's fill this up with certain shapes like this so you can see I'm using all these small small pieces to fill up this shape and here uh, what I'll do is I'll just move this little bit inside here like that from that here so next thing uh, let's keep it like this for a while and let's draw this empty space so let's to draw that I'll just uh, do is I'll just draw a shape here and just uh, subtract it from the main body so let's use the pen tool click drag so we got that nice all these effects now next thing let's check it out that's good I'll just do it select this this and subtract it out with the pathfinder subtract it and here we go so we got that now I'll just arrange it a little bit backside so control and open square bracket and this will automatically send it to back let's check it out okay that's good let's draw the shape so to, to uh, create that shape uh, let's use the pen tool again and I'll just use the pen tool maintain this flow from here you can draw it out from here like this give that nice curve and just finish it here with this flow like that looking like it's going from there this and let's flow give that and here finish it like this okay so now I'll just combine this both for a while okay and let's trick this out so i'll just need this so i'll use this points and create out that shape so i'll just bring it out here you can see that okay let's uh, use the direct anchor point anchor point tool and we can just break this from here like giving that flow
uh, let's trick it up a little bit like giving that nice thickness and now if you look at this we have given that nice uh, uh, details here like the fire effect let's uh, concentrate on these and now next thing is very important here so you need to uh, concentrate on here so select all these and I'll just combine this for a while maybe I'll just keep it uh, here if you select this I'll just maintain this with this leg and give that nice curve this one here like that and now if I select the, all these everything select everything if I select everything here now with the shape builder tool let's uh, make this up so I'll just make this one object this whole piece one leg like that and this one uh, is going with the body so let's uh, maintain that flow like that okay and if I connect with these stuff like this one okay this one is one object let's um, make it different color like that this one this one this one so and now here if you look at this uh, we need this leg on top and for going from down so we need to create that so uh, with the shape builder tool let's select different color from here and this one make it on the top like that make it like this zoom it in and this one going from down in the same way this one is going from here from the top and connecting this so we got that you can see like that now if i connect this and this you can see uh this portion has been connected and we don't get that effect so we need to uh, give some cut here so that we can create this effect here so if uh, to create that effect to create this effect like this like it is going from up i have given given a cut here like this because uh this is connected body and if i connect this and this this will be filled and i need a break so i have created that break so let's create that break so with the line segment tool draw the line and break it from here now it will be possible here now select everything and now if you do that same stuff like connecting that stuff with the shape builder to select it select a color uh, from anywhere and if you connect this this is now separate and this is separate this is separate and you can easily do that adjustment stuff here so look at this nice 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 okay great now once you have got all this stuff we need to create this spike so let's create that spike and first of all control alt 2 and group it uh, and I'll just remove that the circle for a while and let's trick it up so I'll just make that spike so with the pen tool selected I'll just add a few points here so add I'll continue on the spike so we'll create three spikes okay that's great so we got that nice spike effect next thing is we have to create this double effect and to create the double effect uh, we'll just do is we'll uh, duplicate it one more time and we'll just uh, increase the stroke thickness so first of all I'll just select everything and duplicate it so selecting that select everything Control C Control F and what I'll do is I'll just increase the stroke thickness so I'll just increase uh, give the stroke color black and let's increase the stroke thickness you can see here we have given giving some stroke thickness here nice one and let's uh, see here 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 uh, if I go to stroke I'll just make it round here and now go to object path outline stroke and this has converted that into outline stroke and now I'll go to pathfinder and subtract it so before that uh, outline stroke selecting that individually select this subtract so individually select everything subtract so we got all these double effect here nice looking double effect next thing we need to do is uh, we need to give this a uh, gap here you can see in some places the gaps are a bit very thin whereas some places the thickness is very large so we need to tweak that up so here uh, everywhere uh, it's uh, maintained it's uh, uniform we need to make that up so to do that first of all uh, let's unlock all the backside layers so select all the backside layers from here 
like this or select this this not this one this this the select piece or this one also and this and this and control 2 to lock it up control 2 now what will uh, if i select all these stuff only the top pieces will be selected and we can tweak it easily so let's select this piece uh with the dice selection tool selected select these points and i'll just bring this down Now let's work on details so I'll just uh, go inside and figure out each and st every stuff so it's going to be a lengthy process let's go on so selecting that uh, we'll break this uh, uh, delete first of all we'll delete out all the extra points from here Actually, uh, this design is very complex and it has required lots of manual stuff so it's going to take lots of time first of all uh, to create this logo we'll, we have drawn out some sketches and after clearing up those ideas we'll, uh, we are working on this so uh, we can easily uh, use the sketches uh, to make this stuff by tracing it out but I want to create it manually that's why I'm doing this uh, I have created the sketches and I have already worked on that and you have to clear up your ideas before doing those stuff so this is very important stuff here Here, here great everything is done now last thing we need to do is uh, okay let's think uh, we have to add that eye so let's add it that eye so I'll use the uh, pen tool and draw the eye so I'll just use this as a reference and draw the eye like this giving a nice curve and finishing it like this and let's do some adjustments so I'll just use this eye like this and this and okay that's great for reference and now I'll just bring it here and place it around here I'll fill this up with the black for a while and place it around here like that you can just scale it down a little bit if larger or maybe the angles and now select these both everything and go to Pathfinder or maybe with the shape builder tool you can easily subtract it from there and that's all that's all we got this empty space here and we got that nice horse effect now let's fill this up with the grading color so we'll do that so I'll just select this back one with the eye picker with the shift and all press select this color G selected I'll just blow around with this
so we have all these stuff we have maintained that green color and <clears throat> outfit that of all the green style uh, you can go on further and do all these uh, green colors it's very important if you it's where if you give more times to your work your design and you'll play around with the, all these colors and angles you'll definitely get some amazing style so for now I think this much is good I'll work on the further uh, later on but this uh, for this design uh, all these steps are necessary and our text I'll just edit up the text as you are a face a face surface and the font which I'm using here is this uh, Adobe cast Castlon Pro so I'll just type it out A D O B Adobe Castlon Pro here is it and let's change the color to with the RP color just select the color from here that's the gray color and the font size here also the font size is 45.69 so we'll just keep it or maybe you can just make it uh, 46 like that and I'll just place it here and duplicate it one more and next this one I have to write that entangled so the for this I have used the font Gilsan MT so I'll just copy that and selecting that Control V, enter, and make it simple one like this. And the font size, let's reduce it to 20. Let's check it out. Okay, that's good. And I just place it here and go to character and increase the thick uh, spacing between them to your respective size. So I'll just write out E N T A and G L E D entangled and that's good the size is perfect the spacing is perfect now just go there and place it to the center this one just do the proper placement and finally we have completed our amazing design this one also a really complex one and uh, this is a pure original design i hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing you can press the subscribe button and don't forget to check out the products thank you